rambling ramble. Me and my husband are on our way out to Salt Fork to do a little bit of walking and looking at the lake. Once we get out there, I'll turn the camera around so you guys can get some good footage of what the lake looks like. But I just wanted to get on here for a rolling ramble because I hadn't done one in a while with the weather being so bad. It is 56 degrees out today. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how beautiful it is. Um, we skipped bringing out a picnic lunch, so we won't be eating out here. Uh, we're making a beef roast with Lipton onion soup, some mashed cauliflower, gravy made with the drippings and xanthium gum, and then some fried cabbage with a little bit of bacon and onion. So that's what's going to be for dinner. So far today, I haven't had anything to eat. I just had uh, two vanilla lattes, and that's been it so far. So I don't know when we get back if I'll have a little noshy lunch or not. I'm sort of getting that just that little bit of hungry feeling, but it just depends on what time we get home because the beef roast will be ready to come out of the crock pot by 5 o'clock. So I might just have OMAD today, so we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm getting out here, so I'm going to get this camera turned around so you guys can see the lake. just entered Salt Fork State Park. This is about four miles out the road from my house. So of course, I take advantage of the park. It's one of the most beautiful areas in Ohio. And uh, I love it out here. So I come hiking through all seasons. I mean, even in the winter, as long as there's no ice, I like to come out here and go hiking in the snow. Um, love camping out here in the spring summer and fall and there is all kind of hiking trails through the woods i'm a big fisher girl i like to come fishing i get my license every year and uh, being this close i just really take advantage of the park and oh here's the first main view of the lake you're gonna get and i don't know how the camera's mounted if you guys can really see it so nobody's coming so I'm gonna turn the car hold on a second can y'all see that it is absolutely gorgeous and it covers both sides of the road so here's another part of the lake but this is just a snippet this lake goes on for miles snaking through all of the valleys around here that was dammed off and uh, created quite a long skinny lake area. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and I'll get back with you in a second. Here's one of our favorite spots at the lake. We are outside of what's called Hosex Cave and it's a trail that goes towards the back a nice hiking trail gets to a little caved in area back there. Um, it's really beautiful but uh, my husband wanted to give you all a little bit of trivia as we're looking at this beautiful lake. Okay, first of all, the lake takes up 6,000 acres, which is basically about the average size of a state park in the state of Ohio. The park land itself takes up 17,229 acres. Um, they come in in the uh, early 60s and purchased a bunch of farms from a bunch of fa families from around the area. Uh, a lot of the families are still in the area. Um, numerous covered bridges used to be here. One of them known as the Armstrong Family Bridge. It is now sitting in the center of Cambridge city park in cambridge ohio um we'll go by there today and show them a cop show them that bridge it's a beautiful bridge also um and if any of you are confused about the uh, lake or the park or anything like that uh, i've never seen anything yet and i've lived here for 46 years but apparently the TV show Finding Bigfoot 
the chubby dude with the longer hair, shorter guy, he's actually from around here. And Finding Bigfoot has done two shows from this park. And uh, they ain't found him yet. <laughs> but, hey. A lot of hunters come out here looking around. Oh, yeah, they constantly. You can't come out here at nighttime without hearing people hollering in the woods. Yeah. Whoop, banging, whoop. On, <laughs> banging on trees and all kinds of nonsense but hey you know everybody's got their thing all righty well we're gonna get on our hike and we will talk to y'all here in a little bit i'm not sure how you how i'm not sure how well you guys can see through the woods here but this is the view of the lake from up the lodge so i'm up on the hill and as you can tell it goes really far. i mean like i said the, there's no way to even through video get the full scope of this lake I, all I can show is bits and pieces but it is beautiful <laughs> love it now this is the beautiful lodge beautiful sitting areas in there and that here is where the indoor swimming pool is then for the summertime they've got a beautiful outdoor pool in the back Oh, absolutely love this place. I worked here as a teenager, so not only do I love coming out here with my husband just for romantic evenings, uh, they've got a great restaurant. It also brings back a lot of memories of being a teenager and one of my first jobs. And if you're into golf, they have a beautiful golf course. Now, I've only seen snippets of it over the years, uh, but yeah, a beautiful golf course. And I know uh, my uncle and my cousins come down and take advantage of that all the time. <laughs> Sorry. Can you guys see behind the tree? There's a beautiful little doe right there. If I could get you a good picture before she runs off. She's, she is leery of me. She's like, what, what are you doing? Why are you recording me? There she is, guys. The Cambridge is beautiful little lady. I'm so sorry it's shaky, but when I'm zoomed in that far, I can't. Oh my goodness, there's two sitting there. Mm -hmm. She's got a friend. She's curious. Hi. Hi. I see you. I honestly cannot tell how well this is recording. I hope you guys can see them. We love our wildlife around here. I get plenty of deer through my yard. I need to get some pictures sometimes. See if Not oh. too many people are aware, but all those big boulders that you see over there on the hillside. Let's see if I can and, uh, zoom in on it a little bit. And all across our area not too many people realize that if you look at the stones especially the ones that are higher up on the hillside you will see water erosion on the stones not too many people know that those stones were actually trapped in a mile thick sheet of ice that came down from the Cleveland area and not too many people realize that those boulders that you're looking at are at one time the bottom of Lake Erie. They got scoured out, trapped in the ice, traveled with the ice over thousands of years down to this area. And when they melted, when the mile thick sheet of ice melted, that's where the water erosion comes from on those stones. Yeah, and carved out this beautiful area we have for our lake. Alrighty, we're going to move on. We're enjoying our day. It is absolutely perfect. Can't beat a winter day at 56 degrees. <laughs> Some Canadian geese. The only thing we get from Canada, the geese <laughs> and cold weather. <laughs> they, uh... Come south for the winter. 
No, they're here all the time. I don't even know why we call them Canadian geese. <laughs> This is Armstrong Bridge. Do you know anything about this, babe? I was out at Salt Fork. It spanned Salt Fork Creek. It was built in 1849 and then relocated here sometime between 66 and 67. And then they refabricated it, kind of spruced it up a little bit in 2015. Yep, I love this bridge. When I was little, I remember coming here and we'd have a picnic on the bridge. There was a picnic table back then on the bridge. Let's walk a little closer and take a peek on the inside. I don't think the picnic table's there anymore. I think they got rid of it because too many kids was partying on the inside and stuff. Yeah, there's nothing in here. But it still brings back the memories. Oh my goodness, the memories. Timbers are original. You can see where some of them have been replaced because they just look newer. Yeah. But it's still held together in the same fashion. Oh yeah, this is. If you look, you can see the peg joints up top here. Oh, we got to come on a different one, babe, because of the sun. Right here, this one. Yeah, there's what he's talking. Those See peg joints right there. That are still binding it together I wish, today, up top there. I wish I had a flashlight and we could, Spotlight. yeah, there's a good peg joint right there, but it's not coming out too good on the camera. <laughs> History people, learn it, because if you don't, this next generation is just going to forget about it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're going to continue on our adventure and get home and cook us some supper. <laughs> I love seeing this. Middle of January and kids out enjoying our beautiful park and taking advantage of what the city has to offer. Love it. <laughs> this is the duck pond and this has been here ever since I was a little kid. Um, I should call it the geese pond though looking at it today. <laughs> But yeah, just people taking advantage of the park today. It is so wonderful. We have a gorgeous park here in Cambridge. Um, very large compared to most city parks. Uh, I've noticed that and I've been in other towns and looked at their parks that, oh, ours put everybody else to shame in my opinion. <laughs> But anyway, let's go on up and see what else we can find today. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed my footage today of our adventure. We're at our last stop before we head home, which is the Circle K to get us a bladder buster which I get the Diet Dr. Pepper and my husband, of course, gets the bad, bad, bad Mountain Dew. <laughs> like I said, I'm just not willing to give up that pop quite yet. But we have had a fantastic day. Now we're gonna go home and have beef roast and mashed cauliflower and fried cabbage. So I'm gonna let you guys go and you guys have a great day and I will talk to you tomorrow on Mini Monday. Blessings. <laughs>